My name is Paul. I was born and raised in a Muslim nation. Actually, my birth name wasn't Paul. But after I left Islam, I sensed that God was calling me to take the gospel to my own people, just like the Apostle Paul did. So I changed my Muslim name. Growing up, I never heard the gospel or saw a Bible. I was raised to be a Muslim and to die as a Muslim. Sometimes I would ask my dad questions about our religion, like, why does Allah only hear my prayers if I pray in the direction of Mecca? He would just say, don't ask questions. This is Islam. But after my wife and I moved to Chicago, in 2002, I met a former Muslim named Muhammad Ghazoli. He gave me a book he'd written about his testimony. It changed my life. I had heard of Christians converting to become Muslims before, but I'd never heard of a Muslim converting to Christianity. He gave me his first copy to read and in Arabic Bible. The entire book was a list of references from the Quran and ancient Muslim historical books which exposed many shocking things about Islam. He claimed I would see many contradictions if I just studied for myself. One example from his book is the claim that the Prophet Muhammad married a six years old girl when he was over 50 years old and that he consummated that marriage when she was nine. This was impossible for me to accept. Today, a man would go to jail for that. Another claim was that Muhammad was married to 10 women at the same time. If true, this would mean he was breaking the law of his own religion that allowed for a maximum of four wives. There were many claims I couldn't believe. But Ghazuli was wise. He included quotes from many ancient Muslims' books as support and give references so anyone could go check for themselves. But I didn't have all these books Ghazuli quoted from. They are very expensive. So I used Google. And the very first search brought up many Arabic websites with all the reference books and it confirmed the contradictions about Islam. But I was very skeptical. I thought it could be all a conspiracy by Americans and Jews to deceive Muslims. Ghazali was very bold. He kept calling me, asking me if I had any questions about his book, asking me if I wanted to get together to discuss it. But I told him I wasn't ready yet. You see, I was thinking I'm going to keep investigating this so I can prove him wrong. So because I couldn't trust what was on the internet, I made a list of all the Muslim books he quoted from and went to a large Muslim bookstore in Chicago. I left that store with two boxes full of books and I only bought copies that were printed in Saudi Arabia because I was thinking American publishers could have added errors to trick Muslims. At home, I checked each reference one by one and they all match. I could not believe it. It was impossible. Islam was full of lies. And this caused a lot of stress for me. I had been a happy Muslim. Why was God giving me this struggle? So I studied and prayed and kept searching for the truth. Then at one point, I bowed down on the floor and I said, Creator of heaven and earth, I know you are real. I believe in you, but I don't know who you are. Please reveal to me who you really are. If you are Allah, and if Islam is true, then I will spend my entire life committed to you and to converting many Americans to Islam. But if you are the Christian God, I will serve you for my entire life. I kept reading and studying. Three things especially touched me from the Bible. 
First, that Jesus commanded his followers to love and pray for their enemies. Second, that God loves both the righteous and the sinner. And the third, that he wants his people to worship him as their father. These things are not in Islam. I had never heard anything like this before. After months of struggling and praying and studying about religion deeply, I finally came to the conclusion that Islam is Muhammad-made religion. I admitted my need for forgiveness and put my faith in Christ as my Savior and Lord. At first, my wife was very upset. In her opinion, our marriage was over. But after four months, she trusted in Christ as well. She was the first person I helped to lead to Jesus. Since we have gone on to use the latest internet technology and a social media to share Christ with tens of thousands of Muslims around the globe, especially those in countries close to missionaries, in private chat rooms, away from the watchful eyes of family members and governments, our team in the Middle East and North Africa are having hundreds of conversations every month with Muslims, seekers, and skeptics. They are also monitoring Arabic believers who desperately need discipleship and fellowship. I'm blessed to have been rescued from Islam, and like the Apostle Paul, I have the privilege to take the truth to my own people. I praise the Lord for that.